We will be working out together for one whole hour this morning doing weights. So in Slim and Lean, we do isolation exercises. So we use one movement per muscle. So none of the uh, bottom muscles and top half muscles that we do in other workouts. We're going to focus on one muscle group at a time. What we do in Slim and Lean with that one muscle group is we work in supersets. So more than one exercise per muscle group. That allows us to work those muscles to failure without using super duper heavy weights. It also lets us maximize the amount of time that we're working out because we don't have to spend time in between our sets switching up our weights or choosing them and changing them. We just get to keep basically uh, the, the weight that we're using for one muscle group all the way through. So speaking of weights, that's what you need this morning. If you have some hand weights, pull them out. Medium set, light set, if you have heavy, pull them out up to you. If you have a yoga mat or a towel, bring it out and we'll use that for when we get down on the floor. And if you have a step, sure, bring it out. If not, everything we do can be modified to be done on the floor. And we probably won't do a lot on the step this morning. Anyhow, and as usual, water. So we're going to start off with a weight warm up this morning. So I'd like you to grab your lighter weights. Our warm up is just going to, it's aptly named, we're going to warm up our muscles. So we're going to raise our body temperature a bit so that we have a bit more flexibility, a bit more range of motion, get our respiration increasing a touch, heart rate comes up, and we'll be ready for our workout. So nice deep breath in. Roll your shoulders back. We want our collarbone wide, shoulders down. I want you to connect with your core. So feel like you're going to take a punch or feel like you're going to cough. That's how I want you to keep your core throughout the workout. That way we protect our lower back and we also work those abdominal muscles. When we stand, head, shoulders, hips, ankles, all in a line. You're going to tuck your tail feathers in so that you don't have an arched back. I want you to step it wide and we're going to squat down for two and two. Down for two. And up. And you don't have to go low yet. It's just our warm up. Just get the feel of it. Down for two. Good. Let's keep it here. Down for two. Down for two. And up. So if you want to do this warm up or this workout without the weights for some of the exercises, knock yourself out. Body weight exercises are effective. Singles for eight. So at the top here, I want you to keep your knees nice and soft. Aim those knees for your baby toes. Make sure your toes aren't crunched up. Spread them out along the floor. Deadlift, two and two. For two. And up. Down for two. And up. So you'll see spine is nice and neutral. Put a little bend in those knees if you want. Your call. Down for two. And up. Down for two. So depending on how tight your hamstrings are this morning, you determine your range of motion. Let's add a knees and squeeze. Wide row here. Pull and up. And again, down. Pull and up. Making sure to keep that torso silent. You're getting a lot of movement through there. Let's hold it down, row three, for three. You're getting a lot of movement. Go lighter, go slower. And again, for three, two, and one. I want you to feel like you're bringing those shoulder blades together. So shoulders, shoulder blades come together. You move those weights with your upper back. Last one here, bicep curls. Two and two. Up for two, and two. So elbows nice and close to your torso, not braced against your ribs. Full contraction, full extension, and singles for eight. Good. Keeping that torso silent. If you're swinging them, go lighter, go slower. Get ready for lateral raises. Two and two. Up for two, for two and two. Now, if lateral raises are not your thing, lots of options. Upright row, front raise, or you can do an overhead press. Singles for eight, eight. And you lead with your shoulders, 
elbows follow in four, three, lift them up, overhead press right here, up for two. So you want those arms right at the side of your body, right along the seam of your shirt. You see those wings in peripheral vision. Singles for eight. Eight. Good. Hold on. For four, we're just warming up. Three. Weight to your side. Single squats for eight. Right here, eight. So take a look at that squat. To be able to see your toes if you can't. Don't go down quite as far. We're going to step it back right and left, one at a time. Take a look behind you. Make sure you got enough real estate to do this. If not, then just tap it back. Or raise that knee up. Hammer curls, both arms. Single counts for eight. Good work. Almost there. In four, we hit those deadlifts again and finish off. In four, three, two, deadlift, two. And up. Down for two. And up. Four, two. And up. Two. Good work. Okay, pop those weights to the side. Hopefully you're warming up a bit. It might be a tall order for some of us. Probably fairly cold. Seems like most of Canada or most of Western Canada is very, very cold all this week. So if you're not warm yet, take some extra time. You can march on the spot, high knees, make sure that your muscles aren't too cold, too stiff to warm up. Roll your shoulders back, and we're going to start with our big muscle group. So starting with legs. Legs, as with all our big muscle groups, can usually withstand a lot of weight. However, it's up to you. So we're going to start off with some deadlifts. Two feet first, and then we will move to one-legged deadlift. So let's go down super slow. Down for four. For four, three, two, and up for four. So you might ask, why are we going down so slow? Why are we going up so slow? Well, the amount of time, down for three, that we spend with those muscles under tension, we work them more. So, we vary the amount of time we keep those muscles under tension. Down for one, down. So we minimize the breaks, the rest periods that your muscles get. Keep them working almost constantly. Down, two and two. Down for two, and up. Down for two, and up, two. So you want to feel yourself pulling from your glutes, pulling from your hamstrings from the top for four, for four, three, two. Resist it on the way down, pull it on the way up. Feel like someone's pulling it from the bottom on the way down, pulling from the bottom. You got it. Down for three, three, two, one. And up for three, two, one. And down for three, two, one. Good work. Down for one, up for three. Nice work. Engage your core. Keep it nice and controlled. Two and two. Two. We're hinging at the hips here. So you're going to have to protect that lower back. Do that by keeping that core in control. Two. Okay, shake it out a touch. We're going to switch to one-legged deadlifts. Now, these can be done with or without weight. Your call. Starting off on that right foot. Now, I want you to think about bringing that back foot up, leaning down, and zipping it up 
with that right glute, with that right hamstring. So let's take it down, nice and easy. Two and two. Down for two. And up for two. And up. You can bend that knee. Two. Two. Down for three. Down for three. Two. One. Now I'm really going to have to concentrate here. Controlling my core, controlling my glutes, holding my torso steady. Down for one. One. Super slow up. You got it. Down. And up. There you go. Down. Up for three. Down for one. Now two and twos. Two. And two. Two. Nice and smooth. Nice and controlled. And two. Get ready to switch those feet. Here we go. Shake it out. Other foot steps forward. So you're on your left leg now. Holding your torso secure with your glutes, with your abs. Take it down for two and two. Here we go. For two. And up. Two. Now this is going to challenge not only those glutes and those hamstrings, but your core muscles. Down for three. For three, two, one. Take a spot in the distance. Steady yourself. Three, two, down for one. One, super slow up. Really challenging there. You can do it. One, and up. Down for one. Two and two, down for two. And up, for two. Hold your core in, we're almost there. And two. Two, this is our last one, good work. Okay, shake those legs out while you walk it over to your mat. Grab that mat. We're gonna get down on the ground. Working our glutes. I want you to get into a tabletop position and Bend your knee so that we keep that right angle in our leg. Almost like you're keeping a little tennis ball here and you don't want it to drop. We're going to move that leg up and down, not by using the front of our leg. We're going to use our glutes. So super duper important that you keep that core nice and tight. That'll support your lower back. If it's not working for you, sit it back a bit and just do it from here. We don't want to strain that back. So here we go, set it up. Up for two, for two, and two. Now it doesn't have to go super high. We want to use those glutes. And two, two, up for three, for three, two, one. Keeping that bend. Imagine that glute contracting for three, two, up for one, up for one, super slow down, up for one, you got it, for one, don't let it go down too low, keep that tension, singles right here, eight, good, squeeze that glute, how your leg's going to come up. Get ready to pulse it. Pulse it three. Pulse it three, two, one. Tiny movements. Top half of your range of motion. You can feel it now. Stay with me. We'll get through it. Bottom half. Bottom half. Here. Keeping that glute under tension. No rest for it. I'm going to work them to fatigue. Get ready for top half, top half, right here. All the way up and halfway down, don't let it rest. In four, three, finish off with singles. Here we go, singles for eight, good. 
Feel it. Hold that core in four, three, two, one. Okay, sit it back ever so quickly. Get ready to switch that leg. It's going to feel nice and fresh. So let's do our best. Set it up by getting that little tennis ball there. Holding your abs in to support that lower back. Again, if that's too much for your lower back. Sit back a bit. Do it from there. You're working the same muscles. Okay? Two and two. Here we go. Up for two. And two. Up for two. And two. Up for two. And two. Up for three. Up for three. Two, one. Squeezing your glute. How you're moving that leg. Good. Up for three. Up for one. Here we go. One. Super slow down. Resist it on the way down. Okay, don't let it fall. Use every second of the time we're here. Get that work. Singles for eight. Good. Try and keep your hips squared up to the floor in four, three, get ready to pulse it. Three pulses, here we go. Pulse it three, two, one, and for three. Can you feel it yet? I know. So get through it. Bottom half, bottom half only, bottom half only. Tiny movements. No bounces. In four, we take it to the top half. Top half only. Here we go. Top half. Good. Smaller movement than our singles. Four, three, two. Singles to finish. Singles eight. Four more. In four, three, two, one. Nice work. Sit it back. Oh, you can feel it in those glutes. Good work. We'll do a stretch when we're done. But let's just make sure we have a good range of motion for the rest of our workout. So stretch it out just a touch. And we're going to stick with those bigger muscle groups, moving it to back. So get that mat out of the way. And heavier weights for back. So think back to our warm up when we did those wide rows. So knees and squeeze. That's what we're going to be doing here. Holding your core nice and secure. Torso is silent, so squeeze those glutes. Let's go down for singles. Knees and squeeze. Right here. Pull and up. Down. So Monday morning. Every Monday is another chance to start with a clean slate. Hopefully you have lots of energy this morning from whatever you ate last night during the Super Bowl. Hold it over for three, two, and one. Again, three. We had wings at my house. This was fantastic. Whatever you had, I hope you enjoyed it because there was not much to enjoy about that game change my mind. Get ready. Pulse it. Pulse for two. I mean, it looked okay at the beginning. For three, two, one. The Chiefs had that stop, like, goal line. And two. So I thought, yeah, let's do something. Pulse, two. And then it just, well, you saw it. Not the game I wanted. It's the game I got. For two. And singles, knees and squeeze. At least they didn't have any money riding on it for entertainment purposes only. 
not that I would gamble. Do it again. Normally, if we're at my house and I'm cooking, that's enough gambling as it is. Two more. Nice. Hold it over. Row for three. Engage your core. Three, two, and one. Bring it up. Remember, you got a chance for a little deadlift there. Two, and one. Bring it up for three, two, and one. One more, then we pulse. Three, two, and one. Pulse it, pulse it for two, and three, three, two, one. You want more work? Hinge it over. And two, two, do it again. Pulse it two. Good work. And three, three, two, one. And three, three, two, one, and two. Good. Finish off with singles. Knees and squeeze. Down, pull, and up. Nice work. Two more. One more. Good. Okay. Quickly stretch that back out. Maybe some underhanded rows. Right arm works. So left leg steps forward. We're going to pull it back. And again, you want more work. Hand it over. You want your elbow tracking along that torso. Muscles along the side of your back are working. So hinge and row down here. Keep it here. Three, two, one. Stand up tall. Do it again. Hinge and row. Watch your knees. You're supporting your body, so let them bend. Three, two, and one. Hinge and row for three. For three, two, and one. Up tall. Do it again. For three, two, and one. Two more. For three, two, and one. One more for three, two, ready for pulses. Yes, we are. Here we go. Pulse it two and three, three, two, one and three, three, two, one and two. Stand up tall, pulse again. Pulse two and three, three, two, one again. Three, two, one, and two. Finish with singles. Seven, here we go. Seven. Good. Nice work. In three, two, one. Good job. Switch it up. You may want to shake those legs. Right foot steps forward. Left arm ready to work. Engage your core, take the stress off your lower back. Knees stay soft. Bend it over, row for seven. Here we go. Down, pull. In three, two, one. Stand up tall, do it again. For seven, good. Three more, three, two, one, and threes. Hold and row for three. Two, squeeze your glutes, because you can. May as well get that work. Three, two, one, two more times. Again, three. You want to hinge over more, get more work. Your call. And three. Two, one, pulses, here we go. Pulse it two, and three, three, two, one, and three. 
Three tiny movements. And two, two. And again, pulse it two. And three, three, two. Hold your core, turn it on. Three, two, one and two. Singles, hinge, and row for seven. Seven, six, almost there. Stay in your toaster slot. In three, two, one. Good work. Okay, you may want to shake those legs out. Definitely give that back a little bit of a stretch. Now we're about halfway through. Good for you. So grab some water. Important to stay hydrated throughout our workout. Places those fluids we're losing through perspiration. Regulates our body temperature. Keeps our joints lubricated. All right. Let's move on. Bigger muscle groups still, but we're going to work with our pecs. So we're going to do almost like a modified cable pull. So it's tougher on your pecs. We're going to try and resist the temptation to use our biceps, use our shoulders, and have our pecs work for this. So you may want to step one foot forward. You probably have to change it. What I want you to do is pull almost in a V-shape. You're going to feel it in your pecs. So let's hinge it over, up for two and down for two. Here we go. Up for two and two. Up for two and two. You can get that hyperextension here. And two, two, for three. Up for three, two, one. And up for three, two, one. Again, three, two, one. You can bend those elbows. Up for one. One. Super slow back. Feel it in your pecs. Your pecs are supporting that weight, okay? And up. Singles. Here we go. Singles, eight. Okay, try and minimize that momentum. In four, three, two, two and two. Here we go. Up for two. Picture those weights moving by bringing your pecs together. So almost fold yourself in half at the front. Up for three. Up for three, two, one. And up for three, two, one. Relax those shoulders. Ears don't need to be up by your earlobes. Up for one. Up. Good. And up for one. Nice. One more. And then we'll do singles. Here we go. Singles. Four, eight. Good. Just swinging it, go lighter. In four, three, two, one. Good work, good for you. Stretch it out a bit. Rotate those wrists. And we have not done push-ups for a while, so that's where we're headed. Grab your mat. We will hit the deck for some push-ups. So push-ups are not your thing, you have options. You can lay it down on your step for chest press or for chest squat. Up to you. Push-ups can be from your knees, from your toes. If you need dumbbells in your hands to stabilize those wrists, hold them in alignment, grab them. Important for push-ups, keeping nice and secure through here so that our lower back doesn't arch. When you feel that happening, either pop it into a plank, hold it and come back when you're ready, or sit it back on your heels until that back feels recovered and ready to be supported with your abs. So let's set it up. We're gonna go down, two and two. Here we go. Down for two and two. Well, this feels different. We haven't done this for a while. For two 
and two, two, down for three, down for three, two, one, and down for three, good, for three, two, one, for three, down for one, down, push up out of your upper back, Okay, don't let those shoulder blades pop out. Singles. Let's go. Eight. Pull to get that chest down, so avoid putting your forehead to the mat. In four, three, two, and pulse of three. Pulse of three, two, one. Nice. For three, two, one. And again, three. Two, one, four, three. Bottom half, bottom half only. Work through this with me, guys. It's tough. In four, we can do it. Two, and top half, top half here. Tiny movements. Get that little isometric hold right up there. Hold. In four. Let's hit those singles and finish up so strong. Here we go for eight. Four more. Hold your core. Four, three, two, one. Sit it back. Good job, you guys. Push ups are not everyone's favorite. However, you tolerate them. Not only are they a great isometric exercise for our pecs, we're cheating a bit because it's a compound exercise. When you think of all of those muscles, all of those joints involved in performing a single push-up. So let's put that mat away and move on to our upper body. So biceps, biceps, smaller muscle group than we've been working with. They may be super strong, up to you. We have a lot of reps and multiple sets. So, govern yourselves accordingly. I think I'll start with eights this morning and keep my fives nearby. Get ready, grab them if I need to. Up for two, bicep curls. And two, up for two. And two, it doesn't feel so bad. Two, and two. Two, up for three, up for three, two, one. So again, those abdominal muscles. Feel like you're gonna take a punch. Feel like you're gonna cough. Up for one, up for one. Super slow down, okay? Right here, this eccentric contraction, just as important as that flexion, up. Singles, here we go. Up. Okay, if you're swinging them, go lighter, go slower. In four, three, we're gonna take it to half and we're gonna pulse it. Ready? Pulse it three, two, one. Pulse it three, two, one. So never lower than halfway. Bottom half singles, here we go. Bottom half, singles only. Nice. Four more. In four, three, top half. Here we go. Top half here. Oh, that feels good. That's it. In four, three, two, singles to finish for eight. Work through it. We can do this. Four more. In four, three, two, one. Good for you. Quick break. Stretch them out. Keep those weights handy. Hammer curls. So another curl, wrists face our bodies. If your wrists don't like that one, give it a rest. You can do concentration curls if you like. Otherwise, 
keeping nice and secure, slight bend in your knees, tucking your tail feathers in, squeeze your glutes, hold your core. Remember, elbows stay close to your torso, try not to brace them. Squeeze and release. Up for two, down for two. Here we go. Two and two. Up for two and two. Up for two and two. Up for two. Up for three. Up for three. Two. One. Well, it seems that every Monday morning, my left forearm is really, really tight. Three, two, up for one. I don't know what I do over the weekend. Perhaps some vigorous vacuuming or aggressive toilet cleaning, I'm not sure. But I'm going to pay attention to it, make sure I can work through it. Single. You can work through fatigue. But you never work through pain, whether it's in your muscles or your joints. So listen to your body. Pulse it. Pulse it three, two, one. Pulse it three, two, one. Never going lower than halfway. Just squeeze and release. Bottom half. Bottom half only. Here. Nice work. Four more. In four, we take it to our top half. Ready? Top half. Here we go. Top half only. Good. Almost there. In four, three, squeeze those biceps and hold it here. Hold it here. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Isometric hold. A little bit higher, a little bit higher. Yes, we can. Four, three, four, three, two, one. Nice. Pop them down. Stretch them out. Good work. Let's hit one more for our biceps. Wide grip curls. I'm going to go lighter for this one. This works the shorter head of our bicep. So the part that doesn't normally get that much exercise. Hold them out from your body, 45 degrees. Up for two. Up for two. And two. So right about now, you can tell that it feels different. Your biceps were fatigued from those last two sets of curls. Up for three. You can feel this is a little fresher here because we're using the shorter head of your bicep. Up for three, two, one. And again, up for one, up for one, super slow. Up for one. Good. Singles coming right up. Singles for eight. I can't see out the windows from where I am. But it looks like the sun is threatening to come out. So I'm going to go with that and decide that's what's happening here. Up for two. Up for two. No matter how cold it is. Sun comes out. It's going to be a better day. Up for two. And up for three. Up for three. Two. One. Your back. Support it. Okay, don't let it arch. Almost there, almost there, up for one. Okay, what's our deal? I will get you through biceps, I'll get you through shoulders, I'll get you through legs. We'll do all that for you, you get me through triceps, okay? Deal. Singles, here we go, we're done with singles. Eight, yep. Squeeze, no momentum here, four, three, Two, one, and that's biceps for this week, guys. Let's stretch them out. That feels good. I'm sure we all got a lot of work yesterday. Flexing and extending. Bringing those chips and dip up and down. So let's just work it out today. It's a form of exercise. 
chips and dip, wing, it's exercise. Got to use those muscles. Okay, shoulders. Everybody's favorite shoulders. Maybe not yours. However, I will get you through that. Shoulders, smaller muscle group, so they may not be as strong as our biceps. However, govern yourselves accordingly. If you start off heavier and you need to drop set, keep those lighter weights nearby. I'm going to. I'm going to start off with eight. We don't feel too bad this morning. So let's start off just like our warm up with those overhead presses. So nice and stable to your torso and your knees. Ready? Up for two. And two. Up for two. Weights in your peripheral vision. Up for two. And two. Pressing right out of your shoulders. And up for three. Up for three. Two. One. You got it. Three. Two. One. Yep. Three. Two. One. Good. Up for one. Up for one. Super slow down. Resist it. Resist it. Push. Good. And up one. Singles coming right up. You can do it. Singles here. Eight. Hold your core, okay? Focus on that. Focus on stabilizing your torso with your abs. Four. Three. Two. Pulse it three. Pulse and hold. Three. Two. And hold. Three. Two. And hold. Three, two, and hold. Get ready for top half. Ready? Top half. Singles only. So top half of your range of motion. Good. In four, three, two, bottom half, bottom half. Here. Good. Almost there. Okay. Lean into this feeling. Feel what your body can do for you this morning. Get ready to hold it. Hold it here. Hold it here. Now middle. Middle. Now bottom here. Now push it up. Hold it bottom. Middle. Bottom. And up. Two more. Bottom. Lean into it. Bottom. And up. One more. Bottom. Middle, bottom, and up. See, I told you you could do it. I have faith in you guys. You should have faith in yourselves. Trust your bodies. They will surprise you. Okay, lighter weights, if you feel you need lighter weights for lateral raises. Shoulders may be getting fatigued. Lateral raises a little more challenging. So we're working from a different angle there. So if you need lighter weights, grab them. I'm going to go with fives. Remember, we're going to bend those elbows a touch. We're going to take them up for two and down for two. Up for two and two. Up for two and two. Leading with those delts. Yep. Up for two, up for three, up for three, two, one. And up for three, two, one. And again, good work. Get ready to take it up for one, down for three, up for one. Resist it here, resist it there. This is work two right there. And up. Yep, you got it. Singles. Stay with me for eight. Nice. Four more. Four more, then we take it from the top. Two and two. Ready? Here we go. Up for two. Are your shoulders getting a bit fatigued? If it's compromising your form, take a break. You will come back stronger. Up for three. Three, two, one. Taking a break is not quitting. It's listening to your body, respecting the cues that your body's giving you. Up for one. You 
take a break, you'll come back stronger. Up. Two more. And hit those singles. Ready? Of course we are. Singles for eight. Good. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. There we have it. Stretch it out a little. How are you feeling? Good. Okay. Stretch out those shoulders. We're going to hit your triceps next. So, triceps, we're going to do a bit of a modified tricep kickback this morning. Normally, we bend them here, we kick them back here. I want you to start them right here, palms up. Take them up like that. So, you're going to have to support yourself from your core. Squeeze those shoulder blades together so that your back keeps those triceps in alignment. Picture those weights moving from your triceps. So hinge it over. We're going to do singles. Here we go. Singles. Here. So if this one bothers your shoulders, do those normal kickbacks or lay it on your step for skull crushers. Up. Good. In four, we're going to pulse. Ready? It's gonna feel good. You're gonna like it, I promise. Pulse it three, two, one. So don't let them go all the way down. Okay, keep that tension. Like we were talking about at the beginning. Let those muscles work. Back to singles. Up and up. Good, don't let them rest. Singles, don't let them rest. Eight more for eight. Feels a little different, hey? Four more. In four, we pulse it. Ready? Ready? Pulse it three. Pulse it three, two, one. Oh, triceps. Three, two, one. Yep. Last one. Okay, nice work. Okay, one more for triceps. Overhead extensions. So one medium weight held right here or two lighter weights held together. Keeping our elbows forward like we have a little ball between our elbows. We don't want to make them flare out and drop that ball. Now, if these are not for you, you have options on your step for skull crushers, or if you have a low coffee table, something stable to put your palms of your hands on, you can do those tricep dips. Otherwise, we're gonna start it up here, two and two, two. Down for two, and up for two. Down for two, and up. Down for two, down for three, for three, two, one. Show me your elbows. For three, two, one. Now down for one. Biceps should be right beside your ears. I'm gonna keep those triceps in alignment. Bonus, you don't have to hear me when they're right by your ears. Singles, down and up. Although I guess, now that we're not working out live together, you can just turn the volume down on me, can't you? Pulse at three, pulse at three, two, one. Don't worry, I wouldn't blame you. Three, two, one. Bottom half singles, bottom half right here, bottom half only. We're almost there. I'm telling myself that as much as I'm telling you. Top half singles, right here. Oh, top half 
only. Small range of motion. Good work. In four, three, finish it off with singles. Eight singles, eight. Oh, finish strong. Yes, we will. In four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Now, did you want to quit? Did you want to quit do those triceps? I did. Are you glad you didn't? I am. Now that it's over, I'm glad I didn't. So good for you. If you listen to your body and you did take a break, good for you. Stretch them out. And we're going to hit the deck for core. So grab that mat. And we will start off on our back with our crunches. So crunches. You want to hold that grapefruit, hold that pomegranate between your chin and your chest. You want to feel your abs go down. If they're coming out, then play with it a bit. You want to activate those transverse muscles deep in your core. Get yourself up. We're going to hold that pomegranate there. Keep that slight curve so that we don't throw our head forward and get up there with momentum. So. Down we go. If you feel these in your hip flexors, soles of your feet together. Otherwise, let's take it up for two, down for two. Here we go. Up for two, and two, for two, and two. Bring those abs in and down. Up for three. For three, two, one. Keeping that curve. Up for three, two, one. For three, up for one, up for one. Now all of our get ripped workouts, work our core muscles throughout. So you will see them strengthening. Singles no matter what workout you do. We train them specifically here in Slim and Lean because we do work those muscle groups one at a time. Quick break, get some oxygen back into those muscles and we will take it from the top. So regroup, deep breath in, blow it out, pomegranate, abs go down, you come up. Here we go, two and two, up for two. And two, two, and two. Exhale on the way up. Inhale down, up for three, three, two, one. And again, good. Up for three. Up for one, one. Super slow down. Dig, dig deep. Keep your form. Singles, we have eight left. Eight. Four more. Three. Two. One. Okay, deep breath in. And breathe it out. Stretch it out. And now put those hands right under your hips or beside them. Feet up to the ceiling. We're going to take those feet down. And then we're going to open and close just like scissors. So here we go. Open. Now you should feel your lower back still on the mat. If it's creeping up, then bring those legs up. We are working our obliques to move those legs. We're working the lower part of our abs to hold those legs low. So keep it here. Eight. 
Brace those abs. In four, three, two, one. Hug your knees into your chest. Nice deep breath in and blow it out. We're going to do one more. So bringing yourself up, shoulder blades off the mat, keeping those abs tight, working them. We're going to bring one knee in at a time. So using your abs to bring that knee forward and hold yourself up. So in and here. Keeping each one of those SI joints, bony parts of the base of your spine on the mat. No rolling. You are stable. A little bit higher, a little bit higher. In four, three, two, one. Bring them in. Nice deep breath in and breathe it out. Roll yourself side to side. Give yourself a nice little spine massage. And now stretch those legs out. Stretch those arms up overhead. Reach those arms out of those shoulder sockets. Push those legs right out of your hip sockets. Stretch it all out. Breathe in and let it out and relax. Hug your knees into your chest and slowly roll up. And we will stretch out, sitting up nice and tall, bringing your toes to your nose, stretching out those calves. How'd you guys do? I bet you did fantastic. Let us know. Comment on Jerry's Facebook page. Let us know how you did, how you liked the workout. Up, reach up, stretch out those lateral muscles, and reach it forward. We want to stretch your hamstrings, so bend your knees if you need to. Stretch them out. Now drop that head. You feel the stretch all through the dorsal muscles, that fascial line. Slowly roll up. Soles of your feet together as close to your body as you can. Press those knees down, stretching out your hip flexors, your inner thighs. I hope you're a little warmer now than you were when we started. Just a touch, yeah. Days like this, not a lot you can do to stay warm. Whatever you can do, please do it. So stay indoors if you can. Stay out of the cold weather. Keep an eye on your little furry friends. I know mine don't like to be out in the cold at all. So with each dog, I'm taking her out separately so that no one has to wait for anyone else. You can just go out and in quickly. Minimize the amount of time their tiny furry little bodies are outside. Make some space between those shoulder blades. Let's reach our arm up. Bring that rib up to the ceiling. Not so much over as up. And other side. Now, as always, Kevin is here tomorrow, and he does get ripped rides, so cycling workout at 9.30. I'm back on Wednesday, ripped to the core, compound exercises for one hour. Thursday, Kevin is here for 30.30, so 30 minutes of cycling, 30 minutes of get ripped. And Teresa is on deck on Saturday morning at 10 a.m. for her super circuit. So hopefully you guys will join us this week. And until I see you next, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Stay warm. <laughs>